Let's talk about the bombshell reveals at the end of Hunter x Hunter 402, and specifically about our boy Prince Hulkenberg here. But if you're not caught up, spoilers beware. All right, there is so much to unpack in this chapter, and I have a bunch of thoughts, but I think it's going to be best to do like separate videos topic by topic instead of trying to cram it all into one. So for the purposes of this video, we are going to be talking about these letters and the information contained therein. As we know, this is what the entire chapter revolved around. They went around to each prince, gave them their letter, which contained specific information to them, and that was intended to stir the pot of this succession war. However, at the end of the chapter, we find out that in Prince Hulkenberg's letter, Melody has shared everything. She has given him all of the information, all of the dirt, in order to hopefully best serve him in his battle for the throne, because, you know, they think that he is a good candidate to actually become king. But interestingly, amongst those reveals in his letter, we are told three things. The first is Benjamin's secrets. The second is Sarajnik's depravity. And the third is the secret of his own birth. So let's unpack those three things. And first, let's just knock out the easy one right off the bat. Sarajnik's depravity is just what we already know. Like, this man is a psychopath. He, like, invites people up, tortures them, and kills them for his own pleasure. Like, he's a sick and twisted individual. So I'm just assuming the Justice Bureau knows that information on him, and that is what Melody is referring to by his depravity. This is just a guy that does not need to be ending up in the throne, and presumably that's what the letter says about him. Now, before we go into Benjamin and Hulkenberg, I just want to say that we need to take this information with a grain of salt because it's ultimately coming from Kaiser and the Justice Bureau. With Sarajnik, we didn't really need to take it with a grain of salt because we've seen him commit heinous acts, so that much is true, right? But when it comes to Benjamin and Hulkenberg's secret, this could be manipulated by him or the Bureau as a whole. We don't know what their true intentions are, and in fact, his true intentions are being made a plot point considering Melody cannot discern anything from his heartbeat. So we do not know where this is coming from, right? And I just want to remind everybody of that. So even if we do find out that, hey, the secret of Hulkenberg's birth is that he's beyond Netero's son, that for all we know could be a planted lie by the Justice Bureau. So just wanted to paint that out from the offset. All right, so with all that out of the way, what might Benjamin's secret be? Besides the fact that he's just out here willy-nilly killing lions who are at risk of becoming an endangered species, not cool, man. But, you know, that's probably not what the Bureau is talking about. So what is it, right? And what do we know about him? We know that he is in a prime position to win this succession more. He knew Nin before all of this, and he has guards well positioned amongst all of the other princes who are, you know, given orders to assassinate them should they get the chance. However, I don't think that's the secret because that's pretty much what every prince is up to, right? They're all looking for ways to subtly or, you know, at least bending the rules of law, take out their siblings. So I don't think the fact that he is, you know, planning that would be his secret either. So what is it? Well, given the way it was phrased, I don't think it's the fact that he is beyond sun. Now, he could be beyond sun, don't get me wrong, but at the very least, I don't think that's what the Bureau considers his secret to be, considering the way that Melody specifically said Hulkenberg's secret was related to his birth. So if Benjamin's secret had also been related to that in some way, she probably would have said so, right? So I don't think it's that. So maybe instead his secret is just the nature of his Nin ability and his capabilities. Because as we know, everyone is kind of keeping that very close to the chest. They don't want their enemies to know what they're capable of because then that helps defend against it, right? And Benjamin, we know specifically, has not been revealing his hand in this way, you know, pun intended, I guess, uh, because he is still pretending as if he doesn't know what happened to Moose, his soldier, when in fact he does know because he inherited Moose's ability, which will only happen once he passes away. So perhaps the Bureau is aware of this and thus are aware of the many abilities potentially in Benjamin's arsenal, which would be very valuable information to have if you're Hulkenberg. Benjamin's secret could also be the fact that he plans on imposing martial law to help him take over during this succession war. Now, is this juicy enough to be considered a secret? I don't know, because I feel like most people would put two and two together that the first prince, the commander of the army, essentially, would probably try to use that to his advantage, 
Yet, it does need to be said that this was kind of treated as a reveal in the latest chapter, when Kaiser mentions, like, wow, I can't believe Benjamin let his guard down enough to, like, say that in front of me. We're really lucky that we met with him while uh, Balsamico wasn't here, his guard captain. So, again, I don't know if this would be, you know, worthy enough to be considered a secret, but I do think it's possible. Like, they, the Bureau feels as if they have a lens into Benjamin's strategy, so perhaps that is something they would share with Hulkenberg. Now, I actually have one more idea for what Benjamin's secret might be, but we go fully off the deep end for that one. So before we get there, let's talk about Hulkenberg and the information about him in the letter, which was the secret of his birth, right? What does that mean? Well, I think the most obvious place to jump to first is that he is beyond Netero's child, right? This mystery that Tagashi just revealed to us in the previous chapter, chapter 401, that one of the 14 princes in this succession battle is secretly Beyond's child. And I even thought that Hulkenberg was one of four primary candidates to be Beyond's child. So is this moment right here revealing to us that he is indeed a Netero? And maybe, right? Maybe. I think it's kind of the obvious choice, the first place Tagashi probably even wants us to jump because, again, he just established this in the previous chapter, but it's almost so obvious that it could be a red herring, right? Perhaps that's what Tagashi wants us to think, but there's in fact a whole other twist happening here. Because would Tagashi really establish this mystery in chapter 401 only to immediately hand us the answer in 402? Maybe, but it's not the most likely in my opinion. So it could very well be that he's beyond sun and that's the answer, but let's just explore what else it might be if that's not the case. One option is actually this popular fan theory that's existed for years, and that is that Hulkenberg's mother is not actually Queen Duazel, who we've been told that it is, and is in fact Queen Unma. And I think you can see why if you take a look at these pictures, because Queen Unma has a strikingly large schnoz here, the same one that Benjamin has, who is also uh, her son, right? Hulkenberg has that exact same nose, and yet his mother is Duazel, who looks nothing like him. Unma and Hulkenberg look very similar, so a lot of people think that he is actually her son. And Sarajnik also looks nothing like Unma and does bear some resemblance to Duazel. So some people think that for whatever reason, these two were swapped and were raised by queens that weren't their mothers. Now, why would they be swapped? That's, you know, maybe a whole nother video for a whole nother time. But for the purposes of this video and what we're talking about here, perhaps the secret of Hulkenberg's birth is that he is actually Queen Unma's son. So if Hulkenberg is actually Nasubi and Unma's son, that begs the question of what's the controversy here? What's the big secret? Because in that case, he would still be a full-blooded royal that was in line to the throne. In fact, it would just raise his eligibility even higher. He would be a higher-ranked prince because he had a higher-ranked mother, right? Now, it is possible that the controversy is the potential Sarajnik swap, and for whatever reason, that went down. But I don't think that's the case in this context, because if the Bureau knew about a Hulk Hulkenberg Sarajnik swap, then they would have mentioned that in relation to Sarajnik as well. They would have said the secret of Hulkenberg and Sarajnik's birth, but they only said Hulkenberg and they only referenced heinous acts of depravity in reference to Sarajnik. So whether or not the swap is true, it could even be true for all we know. At least the Bureau doesn't know that or else they would have referenced it, right? So if that's the case, that it's just that he's their son, again, I ask, what would be the controversy here? So let's dive head first into controversy, into the deep end, and circle back around to Prince Benjamin. What if this is the true family tree, and Hulkenberg is actually the child of Duazel and Benjamin? This would explain the familial resemblance with Queen Unma, because Hulkenberg would in fact be her grandson. That's why he has that nose, directly from daddy's genetics right here. Now, this is zany, and I'm not pushing all my chips in on it, but I do think it's interesting. I think details like the nose here are something that Tagashi wouldn't just have done by coincidence. Plus, there's precedent for uh, Queen Duazel maybe stepping out on Queen, or excuse me, King Nasubi because Prince Luzerus also seems to bear a striking resemblance to Mafia boss Brock Ali. So perhaps she's out here collecting baby daddies like Infinity Stones. 
I don't know, y'all. Just some interesting food for thought. And be sure to hit me with all of your thoughts on what these letter revelations might have been in reference to. Tagashi is really cooking up in this arc, and it is so good to have Hunter Hunter back. So please hit me with all your thoughts and theories down in the comments because I would love to read them. That's going to do it for this one, y'all. But like I mentioned earlier, we got more Hunter Hunter videos coming out soon. But in the meantime, if you're watching this video the day I put it out, I'm probably live on Twitch right now. I'm bocce over there. So come hang out if you're around.